Are you watching News Export 6? My name is Vineet Malhotra and today we will in fact shed some light on that controversy which has brewed after Farooq Engineer made those remarks against the selectors of the Indian team or the former selectors of the Indian team and how they were serving tea to Anushka Sharma for one of the matches played during the World Cup 2019 in England. Well, Farooq Engineer was at an event speaking about uh, you know what he felt the, and how he felt the team went wrong uh, uh, you know in uh, that uh, semi-final exit against New Zealand in the World Cup 2019 and you know there was this topic that came up of uh, who the selectors were and what was really happening and Dreep Bengsakar was also in fact uh, on the dais and the podium uh, listening to Farooq Engineer when he went on to say that uh, look when it comes to the selectors I've seen what they do you know I saw them serve tea to Anushka at one of the games in England and uh, you know they were wearing the Indian blazers so I confronted one of them and I asked him who the hell he is and he said he's one of the Indian selectors perhaps Farooq engineer who's 81 years of age I personally have met him many times he's been on a few of my shows also in the past uh, you know said some things which shouldn't have been said but you know you have to give uh, leave it to the, uh, the the former cricketer of the Indian, Indian team that he's 81 years of age and he does go off the handle from time to time and this is uh, perhaps one of those events where he has said things which he did not mean and he's somebody who's always carried his heart on his sleeves and also has made uh, uh, you know a lot of unwanted and improper remarks in the past about a number of things uh, you know but in fact this controversy blew up after Anushka Sharma took to Twitter and went on to say that whatever Farooq engineer said is in fact wrong they was uh, no ounce of truth in whatever he said or observed uh, you know there was a situation that was perhaps in front of him and he misinterpreted it in his own way and that is what Anushka felt but having said that even as MSK Prasad went on to in fact to criticize Farooq engineer and say that uh, you know he's 81 years of age and if he did feel that there was something wrong with the way things were being conducted in England during one of the matches he could have in fact put that up or taken that up with the board or the CEOA in a more discreet subtle uh, and a professional manner rather than ranting about it at a public event which hurt the feelings of uh, not only Anushka Sharma but the selectors as well. Farooq engineer also said that uh, you know amongst the three selectors they only have an experience of about 10 to 12 games which also did not go down well uh, you know with the in fact the BCCI now and some of the selectors who have been a part of the Indian team for the last few years. Uh, so having said that, the conclusion comes that Farooq engineer, being uh, you know the flamboyant wicketkeeper batsman that he was for the Indian team, uh, should have exercised more caution, should have exercised uh, more gumption when it came to this, because you know nevertheless he's talking about the captain and he's talking about the captain's wife. Uh, some things are sacrosanct in the team. The captain does get to influence selection. He does get to influence strategy. Uh, you know, that's a given. And I'm sure Farooq Engineer is used to that because he prevailed under Patodi, uh, one of the bossiest and one of the most commanding and demanding and controlling captains the Indian team had ever seen. So having said that, I think Farooq Engineer uh, perhaps made a mistake because he's apologized to Nushka Sharma. He's gone on to say that whatever he said was uh, taken out of context. He did not mean to insult or make Anushka feel bad. But the fact of the matter is that it has in fact ruffled a few feathers. MSK Prasad also has in fact a shot back at uh, Farooq Engineer. Anushka also in fact tweeted about this controversy and that uh, you know she went on her own. Uh, the BCCI was not responsible for her tickets or buying uh, you know those uh, uh, spots in the stadium where the match was happening. So all in all, I think this was nothing but uh, misinformation being misinterpreted and uh, being picked up by social media and blowing up into something which it was not. Thank you for watching. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.